Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 45 of Direwolf20's Omnifactory Let's Play series. Um, between episodes here, I real quick made up another uh, advanced assembly machine uh, that we're going to use for, for handling, you know, the, the HV through LV casings, right? LV through EV, really. Um, what else did I do between episodes? A couple of little minor things. Uh, set up an advanced alloy smeltery over here. Did I show you this on camera yet? No, but I made an advanced alloy smeltery because that thing was really slow for a lot of our alloy smelting needs and we also mentioned last episode that i was going to look at bumping up our advanced assembly machines to ev versions of the assembly machine and i was all ready to do this because i thought i thought foolishly that this was a tier 4 processor this is actually a tier 5 circuit the first of the tier 5 circuits which we don't have access to just yet and that's what we're going to be working on pretty much now-ish. Um, so you'll note that the recipe for this either uses tin or soldering alloy, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Um, and it needs uh, 500 EU a tick. So we definitely need to use an HV assembler to make uh, the, the tier 5 circuit that we need to get to an EV assembler. Because I want an EV assembler because it'll be faster and that'll be nice. Like faster is better, right? That, I mean, rule number one, right? Faster is better. Right. Um, so, so to get that going, uh, we need the second tier four circuits. Because remember, there's there's three there's three of each tier circuit, right? So there's three tier ones, there's three tier twos, there's three tier threes, and there's kind of like a chart that you can see online if you look at the quest book that shows you some of these. But but like right now, we know how to make the first tier four circuit, right? Which is which is the mainframe that we can make in our AE system, right? So this is the first tier four circuit. Right. Um, if we were to look up tier four circuit, right, we would see this is the fourth and final tier two, the second tier tier four. Right. So that's tier four, tier four. That's tier five. OK, so that's the fourth. OK, yeah, I get what you're saying. But yes, that's basically what you're looking at. This is the third tier four circuit. And then I, I think there's only three of each circuit type. Right. So that's first tier four, second tier four, and third tier four. And they're all interchangeable, but in order to make a tier five, the first tier five is used with tier fours, right? And then the second tier five, I think could be the first tier fours or the third tier four, I, the brain confused. Long story short, I need this one in order to make the tier five circuit, right? So the tier five circuit needs the, the second tier four circuit, which is this dude, which you can see I have listed in JEI as a need, right? Um, to make that bad boy, we're going to need uh, the third tier three circuit, it looks like, which I may or may not have. I don't know, actually. I don't think I have that one, right? Like, what circuit am I making for tier? I'm doing the second tier three circuit at the moment. Okay, cool. So this guy... I can't use the second tier three circuit. It's not it's not cycling in JEI, right? So we should probably teach you how to make this, the fourth and final tier two circuit. All right, so there is a fourth tier two. Fair enough, we'll figure it out. But as you can see, most of these dudes need, that's right, yeah, I haven't done any of these yet, clearly, right? Uh, so I have to add you to the to-do list because most of them require epoxy circuit boards which you can see on my to-do list over here, right? So I kind of built between episodes a little bit of, an, of a to-do list. So the epoxy circuit board needs copper foil and sulfuric acid in much the same way that this dude does, right? Um, which is cool, right? Like he needs polyethylene sheets and copper foils to get this. Uh, the epoxy circuit board needs epoxy resin sheets and copper foils to get this. Right. So to get a epoxy resin sheet, um, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, you need epoxy resin, which is a liquid and you can fluid solidifier into sheets. Right. And epoxy resin. <laughs> see, I'm going down the line. Chemical reactor um, recipe um, is what it looks like here. Uh, and that's going to need epichlorohydrin and by Phenol A, blah, 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 and sodium hydroxide dust, or it can be epichlorogen, naphtha, and nitrogen dioxide. Hey, some of those things sound familiar, right? And that doesn't need an item, so I might want to go that way, right? So that's a small amount, three buckets of naphtha, and one bucket of nitrogen dioxide, 
or we can do it with a bucket of biosphenol A, which is hydrochloric acid, acetone, and phenol. I don't like the idea of automating phenol because I think that really only came from well, the distillation tower. I mean, yeah, we'll see, right? But I think what I'll probably wind up going the route is this way. Um, and I think that's what we're gonna wanna get to epoxy resin with, right? So that's probably where we're gonna go, right? And nitrogen dioxide, do we have that one yet? I mean, it's just oxygen and nitrogen, two to one. Which, I mean, we've got lots of lots of nitrogen now, right? Because last episode, we got nitrogen going, right? So can I search in here? Nitrogen, yeah, so we just have nitrogen, but real easy to combine that into nitrogen dioxide. And I think that's what the recipe direction I'm heading in is, right? Because you can see here, we've got epichlorogen, right? And we've got nitrogen dioxide, and these two line up to the epoxid. So that's the direction we're headed. So let's get started doing that today because I'd really love to get a better assembly machine and I need to get into tier five circuits. So let's do that and see how it goes. All right, so my suspicion is that this quest line will lead me towards the, the, the circuits that I need to make, right? And then I'll probably want to upgrade the circuits that I'm currently making to focus solely on these circuits. Either that or we might, we might actually, now that I think about it, need to do things a little bit differently. Um, because what are you doing? Are you export busing sulfuric acid? You are. How are we on sulfuric acid? This is something I haven't paid a lot of attention to, uh, to be fair. Now I know that we can produce sulfuric acid pretty pretty quickly over here. So what do we have, an export bus on sulfur? Okay, that's cool. So I've not yet run into a situation. Oh, sulfuric acid, huh? Diluted sulfuric acid, yeah. So I know there's like reprocessing of that, right? And that's maybe something we should consider doing because that gets it back for you, right? And that's pretty cool, right? Because we can take our diluted sulfuric acid. Diluted sulfuric acid and basically use that in a, either a distillation tower or a distillery. Just, that ain't bad. For what, a minute though? takes a long time takes a long time but it basically gets you back two-thirds of it eh, you know it's not bad so are you are you you I, I, when we do this advanced chemical reactor is this also making diluted sulfuric acid when we do this thing no okay it doesn't so that's cool that's cool all right that's neat Cool. All right, well, that's good to know. All right, so let's keep that in mind. So first thing we got to make, right, is epichlorogen. That's this stuff, right? So that is a chemical reactor between hydrochloric acid and glycerol, which we should have a decent amount of, or this process, which I, I don't think we want to do. We want to do this one. So hydrochloric acid and glycerol, because I think we already have glycerol. We have a thousand buckets of that. Hydrochloric acid we don't have, but actually we have 42 buckets of it. Why do we have 42 buckets of hydrochloric acid being stored? Uh, I don't know where that's coming from. It must be coming from somewhere. Somewhere something's making that. It's chlorine and hydrogen, so that's cool. Okay. Chlorine and hydrogen, huh? I guess that's happening somewhere. Or ethylene and chlorine. So when we make our vinyl chloride downstairs, we're getting hydrochloric acid as a side effect. All right, that's cool. All right. But chlorine and hydrogen in a chemical reactor will yield hydrochloric acid. And we have a decent amount of chlorine going on because I've been working a lot on salt lately. So our chlorine comes from salt, right? So we have a bunch of impure rock salt, which we can go ahead and process here, right? Uh, and some regular salt that, remember, you get a decent amount when you electrolyze this, like two salt yields a bucket of chlorine. So you get a lot of chlorine from this. So I've been kind of keeping an eye on this and keeping this thing going. Uh, a little bit and making sure that all our, so all our salt is making lots of chlorine for us. So that's not terrible. So I think that's what we'll do. Um, so hydrochloric acid is a thing that we're getting as a side effect from this, but clearly not a lot. So that's this one down here that's making making vinyl chloride, I guess. Um, but it's we've been using such a small amount of polyvinyl chlorides. I don't even know what we use it for, but I've barely touched it since I set it up. So maybe I'm not using it properly, but we're about to upgrade to the next tier of stuff anyway, so I'm not gonna sweat it too much, right? So let's let's do this. Let's get the epichlorogen going, right? And then we run out of um, 
the chlorine and hydrochloric acid, I'll just create um, a machine that'll output that automatically. Does that sound like a good plan? So I think what we're gonna wind up doing here is probably breaking into this room for a little bit of more, more, more stuff, right? Like clearly I've started to turn this room into an extension of this room. <laughs> um, and, I, and I think what we'll do is in this room, we'll have a lot of our production lines maybe. I don't know. I feel like we want to rearrange some things again because I keep setting things up and then doing a bad job of letting them be set up. But you can see clearly we're doing all our heavy fuel and naphtha and all that good stuff. And hey, look all a bunch of sulfur that I'm making. Uh, remember, we're getting sulfur from that hydrogen sulfide thingy that we're doing, right? So that's cool. So tons and tons of cool stuff happening over here. All the processing of our fluids, right? So maybe eventually we'll move that into here. But then again, moving things is a pain. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out. So in order to get um, epic origin, right, we're going to need another chemical reactor. That's a 30 EU a tick machine. So we're going to need uh, an advanced version of that. So I'm going to get some machines ready and we'll come back in a minute once I've, I've kind of got in my mind the machines I need. You know, it's funny, literally, I just said I haven't used my polyvinyl chloride in a while. Uh, we're out of polyvinyl chloride. So there's your problem. <laughs> we had no refined processors because that wasn't ready yet. Okay, cool. So that's going to kick off and craft again. Um, yeah, so that's funny, dude. That's really funny, actually. We'll let that cook. Just wanted to mention that little bit of irony because uh, <laughs> we had a bunch of polyvinyl chloride. I don't remember what I got to throw in there to kick that thing off because it's been so long since I've messed with it, to be totally fair, right? But uh, with that said, we are now at least two chemical reactors stronger, which is nice. I think I decided to make three of them. Figure in, I always need more chemical reactors, so it's all good. Cool. So that's going to be the production line down here that we're going to have. So we're going to want an MV um, CEF, right? So we've got HV, EV, and MV CEF. Perfect. That's what I want, the MV one. And then we're going to want our Forex energetic cables. Do we not have those on AutoCraft? We may not. We may not. We can get a few more of those, can't we? I can just borrow these. No, that's N steel. Yeah, we don't want to do those. So we're going to basically do this in the same lineup that we did here. So this here will be our line of, well, actually, that's going to be our MV CEF goes here, because that's how it is here. I don't even know why I have one of these in my inventory. Right? And then um, that's your MV CEF, which we will um, attach a P2P tunnel to. Can I have like four of those? That would be super. Cool. And then you can energetic alloy these dudes, right? And then we can do the same thing with like fluid interfaces and all that stuff to like manipulate all these fluids and make all this crafting that we need. Okay. So I know for sure, right? Ultimately, our goal is epoxy resin, right? Which is going to be a chemical reactor between nitrogen dioxide, naphtha, and epichlorogen, right? So this machine is going to create epichlorogen, which is going to be glycerol and hydrochloric acid. Okay, so that's cool. So what I might actually want to do is move this down one more. Well, actually, no, you can stay, right? Uh, we're going to have a th another one here. I might have a lingering 4X. What I should probably do is just teach you how to make one of these 4X energetics, just so we have it on AutoCraft, right? So that would be processing mode of you. We want this one, right? Without that, but we want 4X rubber sheet. Cool. And you know how to make that, but you don't know how to make the others, right? So let's real quick teach this. Hopefully I have this pattern. The space for these patterns, at least. I'm surprised I never made this recipe. Do we have an open interface back here? We don't. We're just going to have to get one. Uh, on my to-do list is to expand this area a little bit. I've just been doing a bad job of actually accomplishing that. Right? Uh, so that's that, and that's that, and this is rubber sheet guy, right? Cool. And that should be cool. Cool. 
4x energetic alloy cable. Just give me like 10 more of those. That would be super. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it when a plan comes together. How great is that? Perfect. And then you guys are in there. Nice. All right. So with that being ready, that will cook up in a minute. This guy is going to be say this guy is going to be what's going to make my hydrochloric acid because even though we have a little bit of it, I know that we're not like actually producing it well. Right. So we're going to chemical reactor that guy hydrogen and chlorine. Right. Uh, so we're going to export fluid bus into that. Three? That's good enough, right? Um, and then we should probably also get a fluid interface as well. You're missing what to exist? More pure Certus quartz? Do you know how to make those? Maybe you don't. You know what? That makes sense. You might not. You may not. Um, let's get... There's a lot of things that I need to, like, kind of tidy up a little bit. But if I real quick threw you into a macerator, buddy... Yeah, that's a macerator. I hope that's the thing I combine with sand. Yes, it is. Good. Never know. Do, 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 do. And you. And I'll just toss that in there and they'll make their way in. So then in a minute I can request that fluid dude, right? 4X energetic alloy, good enough for now. Boop, boop. Okay. Um, fluid export bus and fluid interface. Now, to be fair, right, we may not need the export buses, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, hydrochloric acid is hydrogen and chlorine. Because I could use that fluid interface to keep those there. Mm, let's try that and then see if we like that. Because I haven't done it that way yet, right? We're going to need enderfluid conduits and probably even a little bit more. Oh, you don't have any conduit binding, do you? It's all right. I think we're good enough for now. Nine's probably enough. Okay. And then what we could say, right, is this fluid thing, right? So epoxy resin is going to need nitrogen dioxide, naphtha, and epic chlorhydrogen, which we're making here, right, on this line. Nitrogen dioxide will make available and naphtha will make available. Right, and then glycerol we already have available, and hydrochloric acid we're gonna make by making available hydrogen and chlorine. Okay, so let's get some buckets of all the things we need to make available down here, and see if this fluid thing will work for us. Right, so hydrogen we're definitely gonna want to have on hand. You were supposed to be one bucket. Um, nitrogen we want to have on hand. Naphtha we want to have on hand. Right, uh, chlorine we're gonna want on hand. And uh, did we say oxygen as well? I think oxygen's on our list. We'll see if that works. I might need to export bus because you can only hold, actually you can hold a decent amount of fluids. Okay. Uh, well, actually the problem is we're gonna need filters if we wanna do it that way, right? This may or may not be worth doing with just this thing. Like the fluid import and export buses might be the better way to go. But I could get a couple more fluid filters, right? That shouldn't be too big a deal. Okay. So the first machine is going to make hydrochloric acid with hydrogen and chlorine, right? So I'm going to tell you to keep hydrogen and chlorine in here, right? Um, and how's my P2P? Did I get that guy? Uh, and a cable. Boop, boop, which means you should have power now. Cool. And we should probably do batteries. I don't know if we have any handy, so I'm going to craft 16 more and let those cook for a while. That'll take a few minutes to make, but we'll let that happen behind the scenes. I could always borrow a few, like I always do. Beg, borrow, and steal. Didn't I grab all four? Nope. Okay. This will just make it so the machines run a little bit better, right? Uh, and then our cable also, just like the other one, goes to here. And now that should come online, and now those fluids, we should have four buckets of each. Nice. Okay, cool. 
So in here, so you're basically going to extract on the same color for all, um, but we're going to make you not, you're going to insert on red, you're going to extract on brown. Because like I said, by default, you're always inserting on green and I don't want that to happen, right? So for this guy, um, you're going to actually insert on brown, but we're going to throw a filter in there um, that says hydrogen and chlorine. Cool. So hydrogen and chlorine is allowed to go in this machine. Okay, cool. And I also probably want a couple pumps. Let's do that. Because we'll probably want to dump that hydrochloric acid. I don't know what else it's used for. Um, it's clearly used in a chemical reactor for a few things. Um, so we may need to stock it, but we don't need to stock it yet. So for now, what I'm going to do is just have it go into the adjacent machine in preparation to turn into epichlorogen, right? Right? Hypochlorous acid, uh, not that one. Hydrochloric acid, right, and glycerol, right? So did I get glycerol? I don't think I did. Let's make sure we get that. A bucket of glycerol. And we have a thousand buckets of that, remember, because we've been auto-producing a lot of these fluids for a bit, right? So if I set you to extract always active, you're going to get a bunch of hydrogen. Nice. And where are those pumps that I made? They are on the way. Oh, that's right. You're waiting on what? Probably some crafting. Making a lot of things that you haven't been able to make for a while, I see. What is taking you so long? Are you waiting on, oh, you're waiting on probably this. And maybe the alloy smeltery. Oh, that's right. We moved our alloy smeltery into here. Cool. Oh, you're waiting on plates, maybe? I don't know. I'll figure out what you're waiting on. You're waiting on something. Yeah, you're probably just waiting on plates. We'll let that go. So that's cool. Um, didn't you extract chlorine? Ender fluid conduit. Insert chlorine. You should be doing that, no? No? Wouldn't you be doing that? Your extract on brown always active. And this is ender fluid conduits, right? So that's totally the right kind. And you're gonna insert on red and your filter is chlorine. Right, Greg Tech Community Edition chlorine. Is there any other kind of chlorine? Doesn't look like it, just the Greg Tech one. Hmm, that might tell me this might not work. That would be a bummer. I don't see why not. Just curious, what happens now? That should work. Why are you not extracting chlorine and putting it in here? Yeah, that's what you should be doing, buddy. You should 100% be doing that. That's weird. Why wouldn't you take the chlorine and pipe it into that machine? You think it maybe has to go in the back? Shouldn't matter though, right? Let me get a screwdriver and see if clicking on that does something. Nope. Shift clicking? Nope. Strange, right? Allow input from output side. Let me try it in the back here real quick. Right? Uh, so what we would say is boop boop, and you're going to extract on brown, insert on red, not always active yet. Uh, you're going to insert on brown and not extract. Nope, not that one. Yes, hydrogen chlorine, and go. Huh. I wonder if this thing, the fluid interface, only makes the first fluid available? That would be weird to do, right? And if I put this filter on the extract saying you're only allowed to extract chlorine, okay, that's a bummer. So you know what we're gonna have to do is not that. We're gonna have to use our ME export buses uh, for fluids. And we're gonna basically have to do this, right? And you're gonna have to have, good, we have three of those. Uh, we want a capacity card, right? 
and you're going to get one, and you're going to get hydrogen and chlorine, okay? And you can be removed for now, because that's not going to do nothing, right? And now that's working. Cool? Nice. And you could probably use an acceleration card. Would that be a hard ask? Seems like it'll work. Cool. And maybe 10 more of these as well while you're at it. That would be super. Just to have them handy, right? So now you're working and doing your hydrochloric acid. Nice. Now let's get our pumps, which are really taking a while, aren't they? Oh, good. You're almost done with your battery alloy plates. The rubber sheets is what we're waiting on, honestly. Back in a few when that's all done. Hooray, pumps! So this, I believe, is what we need to do if we want to export from a side that's not the back, right? So if I want you to export to this side, we do this, right? So this machine is making our hydrochloric acid. As you can see, we've got a lot, right? Now we're going to combine that with glycerol to make epichlorogen, okay? So then this machine is going to go right back here. And then you're going to export bus glycerol, right, into here. So this can be glycerol. Cool. And that should start cooking. Neat. Right? Glycerol? ME fluid export bus, do your thing. All right, I probably have to do that again. Because I picked them up and put them back down. Nice. Okay, cool. And that'll make epoxy stuff. Epichlorohydrin. I know how to say words. Sweet. Now, epoxy resin is also a chemical reactor. And it's also 30R of a tick, or EU a tick. So that's good news, right? Now, we're going to have to do something with that water, right? So we'll figure that out in a minute. Um, but the epichlorogen is cool. Okay, so you're going to probably be conduited over because I don't think I can do a filter on the pump on the side thing. Right? I don't think I can do that. Fluid filter? Oh, I maybe can. Oh, I maybe can. Uh, but we're going to have to pipe out the water anyway because if we don't handle the water, we're going to be in trouble, right? So that's a thing. But I could just filter the water out, right? That would be fine. I think that's doable. Um, let me get a bucket of that water so we know what to do with it. And then we can get a trash can. Because I think I think voiding water is fine, right? You guys aren't going to yell at me about that, are you? Please don't. Uh, filter. Fluid filter. Okay, zinc foil and a lapis plate. I think... If I'm not mistaken, this zinc foil is a zinc plate in a cluster mill. Okay. So you go in there, and I'm pretty sure I have a cluster mill somewhere around here, don't I? I'm almost certain I do. There it is. Fluid filter. Neat. Let's try it out, because I've never played with it before, so I want to try it, right? I'm assuming it's something very simple, right? I just put this in here, whitelist, epichlorohydrin, is that cool, right? And then we use that in a chemical reactor with nitrogen dioxide and naphtha to make epoxy resin, cool? So then we put this guy back down and you're gonna start getting your epichlorohydrin only, right? And then we have to do something with the, with the water, right? So we could, trash it out the front maybe for now i think that's probably a fair plan right uh yeah because i'm going to want to filter that right so on you we're going to say uh we'll replace this item filter that we had boop boop with water and then down will just be insert and that'll clear the water out of there because if we don't void that we're going to backlog and get stuck, right? So that's pretty neat. I like that so far. Okay, so there's your epichlorohydrin, right? So then the next step is we're going to need to export bus two more fluids here. Um, and that is naphtha and nitrogen dioxide, right? So this guy goes in here and we're going to say 
Oh, that's nitrogen and oxygen. That's right. Okay, right. So we're going to need to naphtha you. You're just naphtha. Right? And then we're going to have another chemical reactor here to make nitrogen dioxide. That's right. That's right. Okay. So can I get another reactor, chemical reactor? Um, nitrogen dioxide is 30 you would take, right? So advanced would be more than good enough, right? So uh, MV motor, bronze, and MV machine hole. MV machine hole. MV motor, bronze rotor, and copper cable. At this point, I should just be keeping these things in stock <laughs> for how frequently I'm making them. <laughs> I'm not even kidding either. I, I make a lot of chemical reactors, right? Like it's it's a frequent it's a frequent thing. Luckily, they're pretty easy to create, especially at the MV tier, right? So this guy is also. That's going to be annoying because I need to store this epichlorohydrin. Do I have a big tank for a sec? I do. Come here, buddy. All right, so I'm going to break you for a minute. And didn't I tell you to put naphtha in there? Do you not have naphtha? Oh, because I didn't have the... And Good. Good. Good, direwolf. Derping it up. Okay. So you, sir, are going to screwdriver, because I always forget that. Um... Didn't I make four of you, or did I not make enough? It'll be a quick craft, I think. Not a bad one, usually. Okay, you had to make another lapis plate. That's loaded down for a sec. But yeah, quick craft to get one of those. All right, so your nitrogen dioxide, which is oxygen two, nitrogen one. Now we need a program circuit number one in there. We'll try that, nitrogen and oxygen, right? So you need a capacity card for oxygen and nitrogen. Right, and I probably wouldn't mind an acceleration card on this guy because he's going to take a minute to fill that stuff up. He should start speeding up a little bit. We'll just get this going a little bit for a sec. Boom, there's your oxygen. Boom, there's your nitrogen. And then we want a circuit. We want like the tier one circuit, dude. Sure, that looks good. And you're going to be configuration one in there. Boom. And now you're going to be making nitrogen dioxide. Nice. And then we'll save these, right? And now I think that's all you make, right? You don't have a side effect or anything? Nope. Just nitrogen dioxide. So we don't need a filter on this pump to do that. Okay. So now we can pop this dude back down, right? And he's going to get the epichlorohydrin and stuff. We're going to put that guy back. There you go, 42 buckets of that. Nitrogen dioxide showing up from here on this side. And then in the back, we've got the naphtha, and then we just screwdriver him to allow naphtha to come in from our system, right? Uh, and that should be making epoxy resin, which is a 30 E would take recipe. So that's 13144. So once we get three buckets of naphtha, which we're gonna speed up a little bit, we should be cooking once we get three buckets of naphtha. Booyah! That is cool. All right. So that's nifty, Areno. So I should get my nitrogen dioxide bucket so that I can uh, note that this is a thing. Can I pull these fluids away for a minute? That would be super cool. That one I can't put away. But most of these others I can. Water we're actually full of. What I should have now is a trash can for fluids. Ah, uh, but that's all good. Can you go in there? Oh, no, you can't. Okay, cool. Good to know. That's a good way to avoid water. And then uh, I needed the nitrogen dioxide bucket, right? Quest complete. Now you want me to get epoxid resin sheets, right? So that's coming from here. Okay, so do we want to add the epoxid resin sheets here? So to make that, we just need a regular fluid solidifier. LV would be fine, but we'll because we're on a medium voltage line, right? Fluid solidifier MV, I think would be cool. Smart way to go. So two pumps and a machine hull. Uh, let me get one more pump because I have one and an MV machine hull. Cool. And some copper cable because we never have enough of that. 
Cool. Getting there. Always with the craftings. Okay. So our epoxy resin is going to wind up going into this thing with a plate cast, right? Because that's what we want. Um, mold plate. So that's a hammer and a file with steel plates, right? Isn't that what those were? Cool. Hammer, file, mold for plates, goes into here. Right? Yes, that's the mold slot. Now this is where we want to pull the epoxy resin from. So this could just be regular conduit. It doesn't have to be the ender conduit. So we can just use pressurized conduits for him, right? So your insert and your extract always active. And now we've got epoxy resin sheets. Nice. And what we're going to have is we're going to have an item storage bus that's going to chill right on the back here. Okay, and that shouldn't be too long to craft, right? Handful of things, you know, some stuffs. There's more stuff I should be keeping in stock, to be fair. I've been doing a really bad job of doing the keep in stock nonsense. Um, just because I'm a, I'm a bad person, I guess. Um, oh, carbon dust. Yeah, we, I keep gumming this thing up. And I really should have a dedicated centrifuge. I'm just really bad about doing that. Usually it's quick, right, to be fair. Cool. So then your storage bus is cooking. He's making his logic processor, which should be quick. And that'll make the formation cores, and that'll make that thing, and that'll make your storage bus. Cool. Okay. So now you are online, which means Epoxid resin sheet is mine and every time I take one out of the system It'll make more for me. So we should in theory keep 64 of these in stock at all times Assuming we don't run out of something Right, which you know we could we could so this guy wound up not being used at all right except as a cable <laughs> Like that one's your only purpose is your cable. So why don't we remove you? Okay, and we can put that away for a future time that's pretty cool, I think. That's not a bad production line for epoxid resin sheets. Sweet. All right, so that took care of all these things, right? Straight up to epoxy resin boards. Um, so for that, we're gonna need to basically, can I just add that recipe directly to this thing? Because this, this is a recipe dude, right? So if I said epoxid resin boards come from, I need you in this mode here. That seems reasonable, right? And we pop that in there, and then we said, hey, give me one of those, because it's the same fluid, right? It's still using sulfuric acid. We don't need another chemical reactor. Oh, it's beautiful. I like that. I like that a lot. Good, we have an extra copper foil. I just wanted to burn this rather than put it in the A system, right? That's pretty cool. So, could I ask for 30 more of you and do the keep in stock thing on this? See, look, it's automatically increasing our epoxy resin sheets. That is fun times right there, dudes. That is awesome. All right, so now that you're keeping that in stock, right, um, you're cool, right? So to make this, we need this. To make this, we need this. This is the third tier three circuit. This is the fourth and final tier two circuit. Tin soldering alloy. This is the one we're going to want to do, right? Do I have to really go down all the way to the tier two circuit line? I can't. Ugh. Ugh. Seems rough, right? 
So I need you, I need you. I have to do microprocessors to make that, right? I have to do microcircuits. And I have to do microcircuits somehow in here. Probably, what is this recipe? That gets me eight, that gets me four, 10. What's an SOC, system on chip? Have we, have we done that yet? I want to do like the cheapest one, obviously, right? And that seems like way cheaper than going this route. Doesn't it? I think so. So let's get it added, right? So we're going to do this with the soldering alloy, right? And we'll try to replace all these. So that's the tier two circuit. So any tier two circuits we use in recipes up till now, we could replace with this one and it would in theory be cheaper to do, right? And then you are going to do the soldering alloy recipe. Not that they're different in any way, right? So that's cool. That's cool. And that's cool. Right? Does that seem fair? I think so. And that'll get us a tier five circuit, right? And most of these are soldering alloy recipes, right? Now, the only problem with the tier five circuit is it does need HV power. Do any of these other ones need HV? Mm, yeah, actually, that one might. That's 360. This is only 16, so that's actually surprisingly cheap RF a tick, right? And that's 400. So, okay. Oh, these, hold on, that's 2400. Oh. Oh. Is 2400 EV? No, EV is 2048. So, actually, that recipe needs more power than I currently have. I don't have that tier. EV is 2048. The next tier is when I can make that thing. Shenanigans, guys, let me tell you. So, if I want you to be made, your recipe is going to have to be with this guy. Okay, so that's good times, right? So let's replace all these guys and then complain in a minute when I have to like do things differently than I'm used to, right? So that would be this one, that would be this one. I like at least they look the same, right? Now this has to be done in an HV actually, right? So that's a this, this, this. That's at least putting them in the right order, right? So these all have to be done in HV assemblies, right? Which I don't think I have an HV assembler yet, do I? Advanced, advanced, I do, I do. So you know what I could do? I could just craft them quickly. And then once I've made my, my the tier five, I'm gonna need four of these, right? But if I make them real quick, right? Uh, that would be kind of cool by hand, real fast in this assembler. That might not be about it. Oh, yeah, let's let's do this. Okay, hold on. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put these guys in here, right? Now you're gonna need some soldering alloy. I don't know how much, but I'm gonna do that, which will turn on the light and cause more to be created. We're gonna put it in here manually. This is just gonna be a temporary use, right? And now if I want a mainframe, I should be able to request four of those. We're gonna need more copper to do that, but everything else we have, titanium frames and endstone. Fair enough. Titanium frames and endstone. We have aluminum frames. Titanium frame is made there. With configuration one, which I believe is this guy, right? He's my frame maker. Among lots of other things, obviously. Okay. So I need more copper and I need more endstone, which shouldn't be too bad to make if I remember correctly. I should be able to get a stack of that. It's just ender pearls. It's fine. Copper, 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 or Kelly, whatever stuff. That crate, by the way, that you saw for a split second there is I crafted everything I needed for EV stuff and then except, wow, we are really that low on copper. 
All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let's check in on this bad boy, who should be mining up a whole bunch of salt for me. Yeah, he is. Good job, bro. All right, let's real quick find some copper, because that's something we're gonna need more of pretty quickly. If we're, if we're low on copper for reals, then that's gonna be a problem for us. Do I have copper in here? Pfft. Really? It doesn't look like I do. Copper ore. So what I'm gonna do is add you to my wall. My awesome wall of awesomeness. Meanwhile, I'll smelt this copper that I just got myself. And then, in fact, I'm just gonna get myself a little bit more copper ore. Cool. And like, yeah, I could macerate it and all that stuff, but that just takes a lot of time, like a real lot of time. You guys come with me. Salt can go into the system, which will start producing more chlorine for us. See? And then uh, that's cool. So now if I want my mainframes, how about I just get two real quick? That looks doable. So let's make sure this whole thing works, right? In theory, it should, right? And none of these things need circuits, so that's cool. Right? And then once I've made those two, I can make one EV version of this, right? Because I've got this crate upstairs with all the components I need. This is everything I need to make two advanced assembly machines, except for the mainframe processors, because I thought those were tier four, not tier five, and they're tier five, not tier four. <laughs> Back in five minutes. I do got to say, the animation on the front of these blocks, really cool. Isn't that cool? Look, it totally looks like a laser cutting into stuff. All right, dudes, it's crafting. It's actually crafting pretty nicely. That is cool. That ain't bad. So I'm actually kind of curious, right? Uh, and if we set you to auto output, you should be good, right? Nice. All right, good, 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 good. That's what I'd like to see, right? So the micro circuit, I'm going to try and like look at these real quick and compare these two recipes because I'm curious, like, so I get four of these per board, right? And this is the fourth and final tier two circuit, right? Tier two circuit, right? So the one we were making before this was the third tier two circuit. That would be that dude, okay. So that's by comparison to this, right? So, interesting. So actually the one I wanna compare is this, right? That's the one we wanna compare that to. So that's the fourth tier two circuit. This is the third tier two circuit. This is the one that we currently keep in stock, right? So that's that difference. So it's two wires instead of four. Interesting. And that's the tier one circuit. So this guy doesn't require any tier one circuits. That's cool. It's the same number of these things and it's an epoxy board instead of a plastic board. And you get four of them instead of getting one of them. So that's like a huge difference. The third tier two circuit versus the fourth tier circuit two. That's a big, big difference. That's actually a really big difference. So definitely worth upgrading your circuit tiers as you go along, because it's far less resources for far more circuits. So way more effective, right? Way more efficient. I don't think I should be using small coils, should I? One of these I did the wrong thing, didn't I? Uh, SMD stuff on that one, SMD stuff on that one. Small coils on that one. Tier three circuit? Did I do the wrong recipe on him? Uh, no, no, that's the right recipe, okay. They use small coils no matter what. So actually that recipe's fine. Nope, we did cool on that, we did good. Okay, sweet. The third and final tier one circuit. So if we look at our quests, by the way, you'll see that we've got quests for most of these. Fiber reinforced epoxy substrate. Can't wait. Um, totally wrapping up point for the episode, by the way. So what we're gonna do, uh, clearly you're gonna continue to be stupid about stuff, aren't you? Um, is probably wrap up the episode here. Something's stuck somewhere. Come on, buddy. You have plenty of room now. I promise. 
I'll figure this out, why it's not crafting. Something's funny somewhere. Uh, we're going to wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time and figure out what's next. We'll probably have the two EV assembly lines going, though. All right, because we're way past the wrap-up point. For now, though, 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.